My name is Edwin and with me here is Wale. And today we'll be showing you how to take measurements, that is how to use the Comnav C200 total station to take measurements on coordinate method, that is using the coordinate method. So that's what we'll be doing today. But before we proceed to the exercise, do well to follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram or Facebook and on LinkedIn. And of course on YouTube, do well to subscribe, share, like, and also comment your suggestions about this video and what you'd like to see on our next video. Thank you very much. Let's proceed to the exercise. Okay, so we've set up the instrument, we've leveled it, and we've centered to our, our control station, our control point. So what we'll do is now, now is to start our job. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to menu. We are we'll click on, we are selecting data collect, which is number one. So we'll click on data collect. The name of our job is Joe. Geo test. So the name of our job is Geo test. So what we'll do is we'll click on OK. Now it's telling us that there is no file with that name. So of course we are creating a new job. So we'll click on yes to create a new one. Now First things first, you set up your, you enter the coordinate for your occupation station. So to do that, we click on number one, and here we enter the name, the code. We are using OP. The height of the instrument we already measured is one uh, 1.515. Then this is the coordinate that we already have. But you can also write, type in your coordinate on this, on this. Uh, on this place, enter your easting, your nothings, your height. But what we we'll do, what we'll be doing is we already have the coordinates we want to use. So we'll go to coordinate saved on the total station. So we'll go to coordinate. We are using PT1 as our occupation station. So we'll click on enter to select PT1. So we can come here and add the code. Our code we are using uh, OP, which is occupation point. So these are the coordinates. So once we are through with that, we we'll click on enter to save. Yes, so we we'll saved the uh, data for our occupation point. So the next thing we'll be doing is to set up, take measurements to our backside. So for backside, we we'll click on two. This is the details of our backside, but of course we already have the coordinates stored on our total station already so we just click on coordinate go to pt5 and we'll click on enter so these are the data for the coordinate this is the height of the reflector is 1.829 we can enter our code here which is bs for backside b s for backside then height of the reflector the easting the nothing the height then once you are through with that, we we'll click on measure. Now at this point, we will now take measurement to where the backside is. Okay, so we've accepted the point. Now what we'll do is we we'll click on coordinate click on OK to measure. So we've measured, we've taken measurement to our back size. So click on OK to compare. We're having 17 mm for our eastern, 11 mm for our nothings, and 4 mm for our heights. I think this is acceptable. So if we're OK with that, we'll click on OK to save the data. So we've done our orientation, so the next thing we'll do now is to start taking our 
measurements to any point that we want to measure to. So to take your measurements, what you do is you click on 3, which is FS or slash SS3. Now, for the first point we want to measure, the point we we'll use is P1. So we we'll type in the point name. Our point name is uh, P1. So we we'll type P1. So point 1. The code, you can just use anything as the code. Let's use a road or arrow yeah okay it's along the road so we use arrow d as our code so arrow d as our code then of course the height of our reflector is still 1.829 then we are using the coordinate method so at this point we will now take measurement at this point now we'll now bisect the point the station point Okay, so we've bisected the point. Now we'll click on measure. So it has measured and this is the this is coordinate to that new point. This is the nothings and this is the height of that station point. So to save it, we'll just click on OK and the data has been saved. So for our next point, we all want to measure Okay, so for our second point, we bisect Now we've bisected the point. Now we're taking measurement to P2. Our code is CROD. We're measuring points along the road. So the height of reflector is still 1.829 and we're using coordinate method. So we'll click on measure again to measure the second time. So we've measured to our second point. Uh, this is our eastern coordinates, the northern coordinate, and this is the height of the point. So we'll click on OK to save the points. Now for our next point, which is our P3. OK, so to measure take measurement to our third station the station point is p3 we are measuring points along the road so we we'll use rod for our code height of reflector still 1.829 we are using coordinate method so to measure we we'll click on measure so this is the coordinates for the third station so click on ok to save all right so for the last points that we'll be measuring okay okay so for the last point we want to measure we'll click on of course the point is p4 still along the road so our code is rod then the height of reflector still remains the same so we'll click on measure and this is the coordinate for that point so we want to do something just to be sure that the data that we've been measuring are okay we want to take the last reading now to our backside station and compare it with what we have initially to make sure everything is okay. So, to the backside station now. Uh, 
Okay, so we are measuring to our backside station now. We use that for the point, we use it as BS. So let's use the point name as BS. Every other thing still remains the same, so we'll click on measure. Then this is the coordinate for our backside. We we'll click on OK. So the data has been saved. Now, what we want to do is we'll go back to our data collect menu. Now we'll click on view, which is number five, to see the data that we've measured so far. Now, to check, these are the coordinates for our point one down to okay for this is the coordinate for our p1 which uh, pt1 which is the occupation point this is the coordinate for the data for our p5 which is our back site then p1 to p4 the four points we measured on side then back site bs is the last measurement we took to our back site so we want to compare the data we got for our back site so this is 565699.358 go back and check this view 565699.355 so i think that's about 3 uh, mm difference so for the nothings for all we measured last is 7146496660 so we'll go back to our backside station points view Seven nine seven one four six four nine point six six one one mm. Then for the last, which is the height, is six point one five six one six five. So we we'll go back to the one we measured last, which is BS and view six point one six five. So we are okay, and the job the data we have they are authentic. So everything is correct. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you another time. Bye-bye.